peace, peace everyone. Um, I'm just making a quick video. I'm reading from Encounter God's Delight in You. I hear his whisper, 52 devotions by Brian Simmons. Number seven, you will not be broken by the world's fury. I remind you, my child, of what I have endured to bring you to my side. I left all to have you. I chose you over comfort. I gave sacred blood to redeem you and make you my very own. Have you forgotten the sufferings I endured to overcome the world? My love has surrounded you, which is why you will not be broken by the world's fury. I overcame so that you may overcome. You will face difficulties in this life, even as I face the hatred of those I came to save. Nothing can defeat me can defeat you when you hide in me. The strength of my love is greater than the hatred of those who are blind. You will not be broken by this fallen world, beloved. You will be an agent of healing as you give your life to me. Every difficulty is heaven's invitation to trust me more fully. Each temptation you face to fight back, to push your way forward, to insist on your own way, can be conquered with my love. I was tested in a wilderness. The darkness wanted to defeat me, forced me to act on my own and fight for my own way, but I was not overcome by evil. Obviously, this is just shy of speaking, or Jesus, as some people still er erroneously call him. You will not be defeated by the darkness that surrounds you. You will not be broken by the world's fury. I have hemmed you in with my love. Those who saw me in my sufferings were convinced I was defeated. They mocked me and spat upon me, the very Son of God. Yet they didn't know that my victory was not found on earth, but in my tender relationship with my Father. No matter what they did to me, nothing could keep me from my Father's love. And so, my child, you are free, unbound and unbroken by the darkness of this world. You will arise victorious. Faith in me is the victory that overcomes the world. No one can extinguish the flame you have kindled in your heart for me. You will share my suffering, but you will also share my triumph. We are one, unbroken by the world's fury. Stand true to me and watch me become your victory. Hallelujah. What a beautiful message. And just a general chit-chat. Um, one of the channels I like that I've only watched a few times is Bride of Christ. And um, she had a very inspiring message yesterday that Yeshaya says he's coming soon. I believe that. And like... And then we had a bit of a civilised kind of couple of comments. And, and I said, yeah, he's coming soon, but not yet. There's going to be a great revival. And she said, no, we won't be here for the great revival and the tribulation, which I think might be true. But what I think is likely to happen is that we're going to the wilderness, you know, like in Exodus. And it's not just for the Hebrews. I had a very nasty Hebrew yesterday. I found his video um, and he said, that we need to know the two Palo Hebrew names of the Father and the Son. And I know them, I learned them on Truth Unedited's channel, he's really good. He's got a video, um, History of the Hebrews, and his last video was really nice. He's still reaching out to Christians that don't want to acknowledge that Yeshua was black, that his people in on the whole are, not on the whole, always people, but on the whole, the Israelites, as far as I know, Native American, that's Gad, Hispanic, I think Mexico is the Shatar, but I can't remember. It's on the Gavin of Christ Church. You can see it on there. And of course, the tribe of Yehuda that are Lord and Master, Yeshai Hamashai Halstrom. That's the Negroes. You can check that out on Gavin of Christ Church. I'd just like to make it clear I'm not affiliated to Gavin of Christ Church or to any other church. I went once a few years ago in London. Everyone was really kind to me. And one of the brothers came over and he said to me a scripture that I hadn't heard before. What, what is it? Um, and do not abhor the Edomite, for he is thy brother. And the rest of it I found later reason on my own. And do not abhor the Egyptian, because you were a stranger with him once in your own in his land. And I know I know the Most High said that he hates this who and loves um, Jacob, and I agree with that. I got my fan back in the summer that I didn't even know I had, a friend that was in the Socialist Party with me, that I'm still in touch with. And he rang and said, you need your fan. I couldn't even remember I had a sticker on it saying Team Jacob. So yeah, I'm not an Israelite. And I don't like these um, Gentiles that say we're all Israel now. We're all kind of one people, but, and in the spiritual, I think, you know what I mean? Because Paul said there is neither Jew nor Gentile, free nor slave, man or female, but it's clear that in the kingdom, Israel will rule the nations, you know? And any country that doesn't um, bow, not bow, bow down and worship them, obviously we worship, they worship the Most High with us, you know? through Yeshaya and through the dwelling of the love of the Raha Kadash that guides us to all truth, that they they will have authority over us, you know. And there's nothing wrong with that. We all have to be under authority. 
sounds funny me saying that because I used to be so anti-authoritarian. I was against the government, against the police. I, 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 I was an anarchist and a socialist. What I really wanted in my wildest dreams was either to die for the IRA or the INLA, the Irish National Republican Army, because of the British invasion. But I'm only second generation Irish, as you can tell by my accent. I live in London, England. And I love the English people, you know. that They've got some good histories of socialism. Like at St George's Hills, a ragged band they call the Diggers come to do the people's will and, you know, to take back the land in common when all the enclosures went up. And I never used to like God. And they had a line that says, we will not worship the God they serve. The God of greed, he feeds the rich while poor men starve. But now I know it's true what it says in Psalms. He opens his hand and satisfies every living thing. Obviously there are people hungry. We're not going to go into why that is. The Shai told us there would always be poverty until he returns. But we know the scriptures are not a lie and they promise, seek ye first the kingdom of Yah and his righteousness and all these things you need will be added unto you. Um, so yeah, that's what I think. We're going into the wilderness for a while first, like when, like before, because we're in Egypt, aren't we, spiritual Egypt? And before the children of Israel and the mixed multitude that went with them, there's always been Gentiles that have been loyal to Israel that Ahai was chosen. There's always been a remnant. This is the time of the Gentiles, but there's still a remnant of the Israelites. And when it when it's the time of the restoration of the kingdom of Israel, despite what some fake Israelites are saying, the ethnic is the rights by bloodline. But if you're not spiritual Israel, it doesn't count. I just pray that he repents. I'll probably be reading out his comments and mine late. He hasn't made any comments, just my comments later. I'm still taking that under guidance. Obviously, this just makes me love true Israel more. I remember all the racism that black and Native American and Native Australian, who some say are the tribe of Rubin, then a lot of them were my friends when I was in Australia. We were like um, outcasts together, like with our drugs and things. Terrible. They're really messed up, you know, because they, they never had alcohol without before the white man come, you know. So then we, and then a lot of them are put off from Christianity because I remember my brother, Barry Jot, not my brother from another mother like a spirit uh, not spiritual because we wasn't spiritual then just like a, fr a best friend i was always a bit of a tomboy i had a lot of male friends without sex you know and i do have some lovers and that but now i'm just got no sexual desire don't want to get married i'm like paul you know and um and his um auntie was telling me they were the christians put them in the mission and they used to take their children away and things like that you know so, and there's a good song i think it's brother bronze called Song of Moses and that's about that we go to the wilderness and second confirmation gathering of Christ Church out of Royal Harris said it can't remember what video yeah like I was saying I'm not affiliated with them I'm not affiliated with anyone that's why I speak freely so you know I'm not representing anyone but myself obviously I'm trying to represent the most higher higher asha higher the great I am that I am like all of us are and I am inspired to speak by the Raha Kadash but I know that, that Paul said women should not be teachers I'm not trying to teach so much as just talk from my own experience and encourage people I really want to be an encourager you can see from my videos that I was drug addicted demon possessed with schizophrenia involved in wrong religions like Wicca, Rastafari, Islam I want to be an inspiration to people that are going through these trials and think there's no hope that's why I made videos before I was even born again my first video was 11 months ago and you can see I had demon affliction then and the videos I had on my old channel Curse State Blessed were even worse Giving my pra giving the praise to my healing to fake gods, thinking your shy was in all religions, you know. But I've learned better now. Now I'm properly born again, and I've got discernment, and I will not be deceived again. If I am, I'm quickly brought out of it. And the scripture from number seven: You will not be broken by the world's fury. Romans eight seventeen eighteen, and this is from the Passion translation, which is translated from the Hebrew, not the Greek. And um, it's in modern English and it has loads of footnotes of he Hebrew. And is it Aharit, Amharit, um, and what the words mean? And since we are his true children, we qualify to share all his treasures. For indeed, we are heirs, heirs of Ahia himself. And since we are joined to Christ, we also inherit all that he is and all that he has. We will experience being co glorified with him, provided that we accept his sufferings as our own. I am convinced that any suffering we endure is nothing compared to the magnitude of glory that will soon be unbowed within us. And that's what I'm saying. These people coming against against us saying that all white people are going to be taken into slavery or whatever. 
and that we're all equal. It just makes me have more, I've always had compassion for the Negroes and others that experience racism, you know? But it just make, makes me have more compassion to them because we, we have that empathy. Obviously, it's not quite the same thing because the white man ru rules the world. I don't, I've got no power. I don't even have a job. But um, you know what I mean? So the, the racism is systemic. Um, and then it has a little thing at the back, we, a little meditation, and you write your notes. Every difficulty is heaven's invitation to trust the higher more fully. There's some current difficulties in your life, but you are struggling to trust the higher. Spend time in prayer asking God to give you the faith to overcome these particular difficulties. And then that's just about salvation of my family. My mum can't, my mum is, she's so nice, like she does, she's never, she only drinks cut glasses of wine now and then, she's never smoked. She's not like me, you know, and yet, and she's in Australia. And when I rang her up a year or two ago when I first started getting reborn and told her of all the wonderful things your show was doing for me, she got really angry. Obviously, it's not her, it's the demons on her, that same as we all had. And she said, I don't want to hear about all that. It's not fair. I'm going to have to hang up on you if you don't shut up, bless her. But my daughter is into it. She's not born again properly, but she struggles, bless her. And last night, one of my grandchildren, we always have fa we always have prayer in the morning at the weekends on the phone and then on the school days I, I do a like voice note on whatsapp for about 10 15 minutes just reading scriptures the shema sometimes um sometimes the hebrew prayers in english and hebrew you know and then a re reading from the bible and then she asked last night can i read, read some extra nanny i said yeah of course and she was reading from moses again she really likes that and she said it doesn't get boring she's read it several times and then my other little my younger granddaughter who's just turned seven or eight um she wanted to read a little bit as well you know so it was really nice so you know if your family aren't into it just keep praying for them and remember that one day one time we didn't know about this either you know don't let the haters get you down like your shy said we have to forgive our enemies and bless them i never ever thought i'd be able to do that but through your shy's love and peace in me i can do it and so can you. Okay. Bye everyone. Take care.